and ask you guys to clap. It should bless anybody according to how loud you are shaking. On your wedding day, if you happen to marry a tall girl, how are you going to take off the veil and also kiss him? I've never thought of that before. And something occurs to me, I say, okay, fine, on my wedding day, I'll call your three and some reflects to ask them how they did this. <laughs> but it's, I, I, I thought it wasn't a good idea, so I came up with an idea. If you're here and you're short and want to marry, I'll give you an idea. If I do. On your wedding day, get a small spoon, quite heavy. Right beside the eyes, you see the pitanto. 
the end of the cut, I see the white water. Beside the white water, I see the ring over. Uh -huh. <laughs> but when you push an eye pain, I'm a twist you who want to come away. I'm the lady in the boss, get close to me, talk to me. Alright, you see how close he is, and now the lady talk to me. He has more power for the programs there. And that is. <laughs> Please get close. Alright. Thank you. Alright, I'll ring for you. If you have more power, that's how he is in his pocket. Let's go.
fat or lose weight, then you will see one slim girl on the treadmill. They make you feel so frustrated, like you are wasting time. And then when you ask them, Auntie, what are you doing here? They'll tell you, I'm keeping fit. My friend, will you go home? You are not fit, what are you keeping? Eat food. You need food in your life, man. You need food in your life. Meat is good. That is why when you look at the number one man in this country, and the woman beside him, you will know that meat is good. <laughs> and the thing about big women, they say, now men, we don't get body. Now, in the day, they always chase big women. That's because they know they are brief. So they aim high. As I did like this, an often married man wears short, no. So if you are tall, see my manager. <laughs> they aim high. You see babe like me, wasted. You see legs, go, they push me up and down. Oh baby, just sit down. <sighs> just sit down, I'll die for you. I'll die for you. Now levels. Meat is good. But whether you're thick or slim or medium women, we are the best. Women are the best, the fact the, I want to describe them. I see every year for this Accra. Did they put Dubai in cantonment? Did they put Dubai in this Lego? Speed test, we chose circle. Circle, where all the Nigerian boys, they sell anything. I'm scared, because this is how it will be. Dubai water is. Dubai water, Dubai water. Then the Kwame Nkuma, the five bottles that we want to miss. <laughs> when it gets missing, the next thing will just say, gold finger, gold finger. <laughs> Buy a gold finger. This one now, Kwame Nkuma finger. Who be my mama finger? This one is the original gold. Before buying. And I feel like this. Ghanaian. Nigerian boys are very disrespectful. Follow them. <laughs> All 
all of us enter spiritual. Here yeah, is not like you are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, my God. You are worthy to be praised. This is good. But when you start like this, you are Alpha and Omega. You know, something like we. <laughs> then he looks at the back of it. You are worthy to be praised. With this speech, you cannot give him all the glory. <laughs> so yeah, exactly something like it. So we give you. Come on, just go ahead and begin to wash. <laughs> now we fire with the shot. No. Once I touch spirit, I follow them. You cannot like fat girls and head stretch mark. You must like them both. <laughs> now peace boy. It's like saying you love Ghana or you hate black people. What I see, oh God, for the first time I saw eyeball to eyeball, the beautiful Jocelyn Dumas. Ghana will now find! Ta, who is Shakira? Shakira sang hips don't lie. Hips don't lie, but Shakira lied. When I saw Jocelyn Dumas hips, Nobody need to tell me her favorite meat is not hippopotamus. <laughs> that girl can hypnotize anybody within two minutes. People like that, when you see them in the morning, there's no need to say good morning. Once you see her, just shout, hip hip hip. <laughs> As a young man, the worst thing that can happen to you is when you approach a blind girl. And I say, baby. And I take you for a date, and then she replies, Excuse me, I'm seeing someone else. <laughs> Your life will be one bar. How can you see someone else? And some of these guys, you're dating a girl five years, six years, seven years, no proposal. And then the guy complains, What are you doing? He said, We're putting a relationship. Is it Tower of Babel? <laughs> Even Tower of Babel, not terrible like that. <laughs> and most of these guys just ask the average African girl, this is what killed all the great men you know. The boy looked at the father, I want to die a great man. <laughs> if not this one, I will die there. <laughs> Change! Africa. I have a huge problem with African leaders. Every day they will tell us Africa go better. I said they should fix a date. <laughs> they bring their lawyer, they bring our lawyer, everybody sign. <laughs> what nonsense! Before the election, they promise us change. After the election, they change the promise. <laughs> Everybody confused. Africa is the only place in the whole wide world where you see somebody reversing at the roundabout. <laughs> Confusion. I was here last year, and then it was going to be the election. I was hearing change, change, change. Ask Nigeria. Two years was still looking for change. <laughs> Even conductor doesn't give us change again. <laughs> Ahead this year now. Change has come to Ghana. You guys I see nothing. I hear said that I increase transport. Very soon, you see a fine girl carry handbag. They walk out from here. It is an Ariji, they go now. Kumasi, they go so. <laughs> Transport, all right. <laughs> Very rubbish things. All these African leaders, they, they, they are annoying me. Look at what they do. They want to buy a house, they go to the UK. They want to give birth to their children, they go to US. They are sick, they go to Germany. They want to go for vacation, they go to Dubai. But when they die, they bury them in Africa. African Cemetery. <laughs> We get our jobs back. We make America great again. We get our jobs back. You can't hear that line in Nigeria. We get our jobs back. Did we have before? <laughs> say we get it back. Anybody that comes to say we get our jobs back, Nigeria says, uh -uh. Is it the spiritual or the physical? <laughs> it was so funny when President Buhari came in. One of the major things he said to Nigerians was that he was going to feed school children. One meal a day. See, today, if 
<laughs> Even if not stone, and then they cook. The children are looking for food. And it's most annoying. I don't know why they do it here. In Nigeria, they will put the law. They will break the law. They put the law. They break the law. So they brought a new law. When you get towards a place that they fly over, if you cross the road, they will catch you. So I got to a place, there was flyover. When I looked at the flyover, I was in a park. I parked my car. I crossed. <laughs> After crossing, one police officer followed me. <laughs> As I was about entering the shop, he held me. He said, my friend, you're under arrest. I said, for what? He said, for crossing the road. I said, you will come catch me where you pass. <laughs> I am hold on, let's go for police station to the first one. I cross it. <laughs> and then I have a lot of ways. I don't know what are your police they disturb for here. In Nigeria, police can disturb in advance. <laughs> police might just look at you. You will commit offense next week. <laughs> well, I come for question. Come for question. <laughs> Even our parents, our parents beat us in advance. Your mother might just want to go out. And then they come out to me. I don't say before I come, you will spoil something. <laughs> oh yeah, lie down. <laughs> lie down, lie down, lie down, lie down. Everything is in advance. And so may I have different strategies to avoid the Nigerian police. I have the address of everywhere in my car. Assuming that Nigerian police did this gun, they don't arrest me one minute. Once at the near police junction, only me go wind down, ask them my address. Officer. I think I go AICC. You go say I follow like this. Eh? <laughs> Just go straight. And then there's a set of people they call the Asians. Edo people. I'm not sure what people in Nigeria. Based on logistics. Worry. T boss. That's where T boss comes from. Edo people. They are angry for no reason. You just try and go man, you go down the look at you. It's an August minor. It's not the vest on my face. <laughs> when I go to school, how much should I pay when I crown the joke? <laughs> Any comment that we know for the year, they owe now. Because Africa is the only place where they perform as you perform. How much how much is gate fee? Sorry. How much is the gate fee? 100, 100 cities. So as comedy and they perform, let's say uh, chemical. As you drop one door, go up, you go see Ghana. One city. <laughs> then you knock one, wave now. Go up, go up! Ah, five cities. <laughs> then at the end of the show, some people come and play 76. Then they go meet promoter. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, 24. <laughs> you don't complain, you know. <laughs> oh, my God. Then, joke number three. And at this Nigeria police, they look people as if you can shake and the digits go change. Oh. <laughs> now, girl, no need so much things, so she just wants love and attention. Finish it. Who said to you? You follow? <laughs> oh, Pokello, yeah. Who that's Pokello? How are you? And that's Eliki. Which one is the Sidan like sponsor? Sidan where? <laughs> they are still going me, don't let me suspect you. Anybody will be sponsor here, yeah, I don't mark your face. <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, yeah, damn. You see? Big brother, small sister, they don't miss for me. <laughs> Kevin Pam, now we're going to know where this is. But I'll be video fixing now. Mm. African girls, they don't ask for too much. What do they ask for? If an African girl can follow you to a place and make it look beautiful in her own eyes, so far she loves you. But if she don't love you, <laughs> hey, yeah, my brother, I don't happen to you. Have you? <laughs> you the side, like, hey, hey. See, you don't say that they problem, and they complain. That girl is so money freaking. Now because you don't get money, to big men. How much? How much get a job? You don't just say get a job down that they broke before. How much do you have? How much? You have hundred thousand Ghana cedis. You give get twenty. Give another one twenty. You come come out. Women do like money. How much you get? Make money. Make money. Oh, I go crazy. Make money. Make money. When you make money, I guess they introduce you to the self. See our boyfriend.
boyfriend. Our boyfriend. Then we complain to share. Solomon did not marry Kari. Solomon could not serve. Imagine. One thousand. So, I'm going to take God back to the background now. I saw no one talk. The boy go. After 10 minutes, he come back. But then I got a day back. If I know said, then go beat me by grandma. The song was too much. I saw no the job. The boy go. After five minutes, he come back. But I took to God, if you buy God, God bless you. Help me by grandma. I saw no the buy. As the boy was leaving, I don't see banana. So I called him. Grandma, boy, I come. The boy come. How much? Old? I said, no, help me call the banana. I'm gonna thunder go fire you. Since I did beg you by Granada, no, by Granada, no, say you know one by. Now you say my help you call banana. Banana, monkey they call you. <laughs> China does build a plane. They call it the solar impulse plane. It means that the plane does not need frame, diesel, or anything. It flies with only the sun. They've done the test run. Two went successfully. Came back. I was watching news in Nigeria last two weeks. Our Minister for Science and Technology, after two hours of interview, he said two years from now, Nigeria is going to produce pencil. <laughs> don't produce play. When they use song, we never, as it, it doesn't even say two weeks. So, what is taking the full government of Nigeria two years to produce pencil? And you know African leaders can copy. I beg them in the name of God. They should not bring that plane here. You know, it's in only Africa. Sun will shine for Accra in the fourth of Tema. As the plane take off, signal day. Once they reach Tema, they don't lose signal. In fact, me say, I know say they don't go approve them. Because that time to keep politicians no go hard. All we need to do now is try native doctor. So yeah, wait, wait, make them take off. As I take off, we are drawing, drawing, drawing. <laughs> three, three African lecturers were going to board the plane. And then as soon as they got to the plane, they made three students. They can oversaw me. So they went to him. They said, sir, you're so courageous. That means you have so much faith in your students. The other lecturers came down, you're still sitting down. You want to know what kind of confidence you have that your students can be the plane that can fly you to where you're going. He said, there's no need to come down, it's wasting of time. If this plane was built by my own student, it will not start. <laughs> Yeah. I know women are very, women are productive. Everything you give a woman, she makes it double. You give a house, you make a home. Smart beggar, one beggar was driving one day and then he went to the side door. He was begging the man. He said, I got to take God begging, not much is too small, not much is too big. Anything you give me, God will bless you. The man quiet. The beggar continues, so I beg, help me, not much is too big, not much is too small. Anything you give me, God will bless you. The man quiet. Smart beggar, he left the man and went to the wife. He said, guy, mother, help me, no man, it's too big, no man, it's too small, anything to me, God, God bless you. The woman wanted to keep quiet, the beggar prayed for him. He said, Madam Kai, I said, look at me, so I be critical, Madam Sai, no. I be hunched back, Madam Sai, no. I did talk, but I know they hear, Madam Sai, no. Any small girl, where you want to take a guy for your hand, and I be single be. Madam Sai, no! Honey, give me 20,000. <laughs> this is a good beggar. <laughs> and then, I don't know what they do those things they do here. Where you enter churches these days, they start bringing songs, old songs, secular songs, and then they bring it to church. Somebody starts singing a song. You know, go go sing a song where you know. After 10 minutes, you hear this like, I'm gonna go ahead worship and worship and worship him. I'm gonna worship him and give him glory. Once you hear this in two times, the person don't forget song. I'm gonna worship him, worship him, worship him, yeah. I'm gonna worship him and give him glory. Two. Come and worship him, worship him, worship him. 
I will worship him and give him glory. <laughs> we call the one that organ sing. We didn't know that the guy was trying to remember song. <laughs> On Friday, the guy is sing for club. On Saturday, they sing for church. So if you want to call Jesus, baby, they call me here. So said, come on, go ahead and worship him. Wave those hands to Jesus. Come on, worship him, yeah. I'm going to wave those hands to Jesus. Oh, I say, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. Organ sing the song. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wonder which kind of song this guy wants to. Hey, yeah, this one, someone called Phil. What's it now? Yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Daddy, please give me tonight. Because <laughs> I'm going crazy tonight. Hey, Jehovah, let me be. Yeah. Massive, so horrible. Kaya. <laughs> Man, Kusa Kapela, he don't speak tongue. He said, eh, the spirit no come. He said, come on, my friend, you need to pray in other tongues. Shut it up. Speak talk. The Bible said, we pray in other tongues. I said, okay, no worry. Tomorrow I go see. <laughs> so we started morning devotion. Lord, you reign from here. May I shout? Master Torobo Kaya! Man, said, what's that? <laughs> I said, tongue. He said, speak it again. I said, Master Torobo Kaya! He said, come on, my friend, shut up. That's my wife's tongue. Speak your own. <laughs> come here to speak my wife's tongue. <laughs> The people are vanished. How can I say what? The Muslims are the place. How many people were working for one more life? For one more life. Bring the people to the world. And they never stop to the same. Bring your hand to the same. Tick, tick, tick. I don't know where I'm going to see you. See who the world is. So what can we go for me? I don't know. I'm not feeling. I'm not feeling the energy. What's, what's wrong? What would they want now? Or you are depressed? And what's going on? You are tired? Or of course you are pregnant? Please, I want to ask this question first. Is my head big? Yeah. Is it big? Yeah. Like I think I've got it. Huh? Who? What? Then he goes, he goes, he gets up and he asks the question, yeah, I see that. I see that, I see that. If you like, ladies, when you are doing it, ask him his name. He said it's not going to ask him. What the hell is going to do? Well, what the hell is going to do? And I don't have to be Superman. What are you doing here? So, 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 so. Great man. Make sure it's a girl for the lady girl. You guys are good. I don't know, any any denial is a way I think so, you know, I'm not going to do that in my Oh, lady, please help me answer this question. Jerry was president, she was first lady. If she happens to be president, what would Jerry do? First one. Anyway. So my brother Sama was also ready from Uganda, and I have the beautiful lady in the back. Oh, me make you know my wife smile. Yeah, Becca, when she's pissed off, she can sing like a man. Wait a minute. I see a woman. And every night in the room, I see a woman. Do you know if that seems like she can eat the food? Is there anything that to do to put that food? You know what they fancy? Yeah. Hey, elegant! Elegant! See, ladies and gentlemen, if you want people to laugh at elegant, just mention it three times. The way. Elegant! 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 Charlie, if you are not feeling the energy, I have one. If you are not calling music, you can be shaking with a crowd. Then Sabbath will also come and do the show. So, by law, they give me some good energy. I appreciate it. Sometimes it happens. <laughs> the cut taxes, the cut energy is fine. Let me before some go out. So please show some love one more time. Ask me what one of the next performer. My name is DJ. It is great to be here before. I have a girl who is four years old and my son is now one year old. Both of them were born in the month of March. That means around 
around July, I am dangerous. If I ever come to Ghana in July, that's why I'm going to leave some seeds here. My son, listen, my, my wife is very hot. That one, I'm not making it up. I'm not, I'm not lying. My wife is very beautiful. Here she is, mm, but here she is. Mm. I was not looking for an intelligent woman because I have that in me. I was looking for a beautiful woman. Can you imagine I'm the most good looking guy from my village? <laughs> me, yeah. Thank you very much. But I know the truth. Me, I know I'm ugly. I know. So, in fact, I know I'm ugly, but at least I have money. You cannot have money and be ugly at the same time. Choose a struggle. Money. So I got a beautiful wife, we have beautiful children. Listen, my son is not just handsome. My son is beautiful. He's very beautiful. I even started questioning my wife. Are you sure I am responsible for him? <laughs> there was no resemblance whatsoever. His light skin, he has hair, he's beautiful, the head is well shaped, mine is big. <laughs> I was so worried, but one day I saw the mother bathing him. I saw his <laughs> I was like, you are your mother's son. <laughs> it looked familiar. <laughs> but the most extra impressive experience I've ever had was when my daughter was being born. I was going to become a first-time father. So, you know, my, my wife went through all those things, morning, what, trimester this, trimester what. I learned words from pregnancy. That is why I respect all women, because I'm going to share a testimony why I respect you women and why every man ought to do whatever you ask for. I'm explaining this. If you've never been a parent, you will not understand. This is coming from the bottom of my heart. When my wife was nine months pregnant, when we were almost having our baby, you know she watches a lot of movies. One thing she doesn't understand that when those movies people rehearse like for eight months. So whatever she sees is perfect for her she sees and wants to copy in our lives. Pwah. She tells me, baby, when I go into the theater, you have to be there with me. I said, oh wow, is that what happens? He says, yes, in the movies. I said, no problem. So I went to YouTube prepare myself as a father. I wanted to see how the men in the theaters react when their women are giving birth. That's exactly what I typed in YouTube. There are only seven videos. <laughs> seven. I watched all of them and I also came to the same conclusion. I will not be there in the theater <laughs> when she's pushing. Because all those seven men up to today are traumatized. <laughs> Time came, she went into labor, they pushed her, they, we went together, me, the doctor, ah, I was pushing, I was escorting, oh, entered the theater, Bwah. I was like, baby, good luck. When I was going, she said, hey, excuse me, you have to stay here. I said, baby, for the sake of our relationship, let me stay outside. She said, no, you have to be here, it is romantic, wow. You are in a relationship, never allowed. I stupidly agreed. But I told her, baby, terms and conditions, Whatever happens after here is not my fault. <laughs> Said, no problem. So we were there. She went to labor. They were, they, they were pushing. They need some centimeters of the. So she, they were measuring with the ruler to, to, to get the measurements. So uh, when she was ready, 10 centimeters, I told her, push. I told the doctor, we are pushing. <laughs> I was like, push. I was like, push. <laughs> hey, cha, wow. It was really interesting. It was a very interesting experience. 24th, March 2013, at exactly 10 p.m., I had my daughter's cry. The first one. I was like, ow. I held my baby. I was like, shoo. I was emotional. You know, they said the rich also cry. I started crying. I was very emotional. I was like, shoo. Hey, listen, baby, this is also a test. For you new, new parents, if you want to know that your child is good looking, after you give back to your child, give it to your friends. If their response is, hey, Rachel, 
Just stay in your bed, come knowing your child is beautiful. But if you give them your bed, they'll start. That's why your child is in charge. Then the devil came and whispered in my ear. Look where the child came from. Oh my God, yes, swab. No, it's not swab. It's ball control. It's an 